author and finisher of our faith. Father, we magnify your name. Be thou exalted. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Let's shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord, choir. Thank you. God bless you. I'll be needing you once in a while. Praise the Lord. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. We may please be seated. Already we are seated already. God bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Um, welcome to Faith Clinic. And before I go further, I just want to thank our daddy in the Lord, Pastor. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to minister to the children of God and other ministers as well. All the glory we give unto God. And daddy will say, welcome back. Praise the Lord. Uh, you want to do that, do it too, Jesus Christ. It's not easy. Hallelujah. Well, I have a topic here, a message I have titled before we go into um, before we go into prayer. It might be prayer, it might be something else, but I want to ask the Holy Spirit to take charge. Praise the Lord. Uh, of course, when we come to a service like this, I know that every one of us expect that we are going to pray. But I'm going to ask God, the Holy Spirit, to take charge. It might be prayer, it might be something else. Hallelujah. Uh, if you look at Faith Clinic, is where you come to do what? For God to take care of your faith, where you have failed in faith. So when you come like this, Maybe you, ex you are expecting a particular thing or the other is not working. Thereby, your faith will now go down a bit. So when you come, you need God to re-energize your faith. Praise the Lord. That is why we call it Faith Clinic. Praise the Lord. God will help us as we go further. I have a message here. That I've titled, Positioned to be sufficiently relevant in Christ. Of course, we know that this year is our year of relevance. And also in this month, we have been sufficient. And we know that God is Jehovah what? El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. He's going to be sufficient in your situation in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. As we go further, God will help us. And I also have a, a scripture here that I titled um, a scripture from the book of Luke. From the book of Luke, chapter 10. That's why Daddy Joe said we should be using Bible. We use this phone, it will be giving you issues. Hallelujah. Um, before I open into that, I want to take my case study from um, Martha and Mary. Of course, we know their case. Their, we know their, the, 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 the story of Martha and Mary. Now, Martha was busy, always busy, taking care of hospitality, arranging things, and putting place in order, and trying to cook and do all those things. But we know the Mary was the opposite of it. Mary wants to listen. It. She wants to hear. She wants to learn. She wants to build up her faith. Praise the Lord. Like most of us are. We are so much enclosed in activities rather than listening. Rather than studying. Rather than hearing the word. Today as you hear the word, the word himself will do what we heal you. In Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says that when he sends the word, he sends the word to do what? Scholars. He sends the word to do what? To heal us. Praise the Lord. The word of God will heal us today in Jesus' mighty name. So let us look at my, the scripture now. Luke chapter 10.
38. The Bible says that, and it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet. Let's take note of that. She sat at Jesus' feet. But Martha was combat about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Be that therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing needful, and Mary had chosen that good part which shall be taken, no, which shall not be taken away from her. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. You know, there are so many activities that can be taken away from you. But the word of God you take to absorb him can never be taken away from you. That is why the Bible make, uh, God told us that we should study to show ourselves approved. A watchman that needed not to be ashamed, but clearly doing what? Dividing the word of truth. Now when you listen, you get some things. Mary was doing that. Praise the Lord. Now when we come to church at times, most of the time we are carried away with activities. But those that sit down to listen, they get so many things and they go with it. Praise the Lord. If you look at it very well, Mary's name was lingered in the Bible for some time. But Martha, after some time, we didn't hear about her again. Why? Because she was busy taking care of other things. And Mary was busy listening to the word of truth. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. And of course, if you know how Mary grew up with Christ, when she gave her life, she had an encounter. I tried to make a study. Which Mary are we talking about? Which Mary is this? And I found that this Mary we are talking about is the same Mary Magdalene that was supposed to be stoned to death. Praise the Lord. But Jesus Christ saved her. That was when she had an encounter. Now, you cannot know the master except you have an encounter with him. Praise the Lord. Mary had an encounter with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ saved her from what they would have called um, um, they would have murdered her. But Jesus Christ at that point, if you look at that, if you look at your Bible in the book of Luke 7, 36 to 50, also, he came closer to Jesus Christ when he washed the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ is also interested not only in you inviting him to your house, inviting him, he needs you to worship him as well. Praise the Lord. Now, if you look at that part, the Pharisees invited Jesus Christ into their houses. And Jesus Christ went as they were, they, he was invited. But when he got there, listen to this, Jesus Christ sat there and Mary Magdalene came in. He came in and when she came in, she did what? She regretted what she has been going through in life and needed to connect to our Lord Jesus Christ. How did she connect? Like a lot of us must connect tonight. And when you connect, Jesus Christ will deal with those things that concern you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Mary Magdalene did what? Wash the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that, tells us that she did what? She cried. With the tears of her eyes, she used it to wash the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. With her hair, she cleaned the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And she did what? The costly alabaster oil poured on Jesus Christ. Now, the Pharisees were now there. They said, if Jesus Christ knew the manner of whom is touching her, this kind of woman that has committed all kind of atrocity, Jesus Christ will not allow her to touch him. Now, Jesus Christ is very, very intentional about things that goes on around him. What did he say? He said, I came to your house. You never give me water to do what? 
to wash my feet. You did not anoint me. You did not take care of me. You did not give me what I needed. Wash it. Now, Mary Magdalene did something there. What she did was an act of worship. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. She did what? She worshipped our Lord Jesus Christ. Now Jesus Christ took note of everything that happened and told it to the Pharisees. See what Mary had done. He didn't do this. But Mary came, washed my feet with her tears, cleaned my feet with her hair. All the while she had been kissing my feet. Praise the Lord. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to prepare our mind because we have come to pray today. But as I was preparing this message, the Holy Spirit was just ministering to me as well that we always ask, 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 and ask. Give me, give me, and give me. What have you given to God? God is interested in you worshiping him. He created us. Why? Not for you to ask him. He knows what you need. He's going to provide what you need. But what you are, what are you supposed to do? Worship him. Praise the Lord. Tonight we are going to do something different. We are going to worship God. Tonight, we are going to do it with intention that as we worship God, God himself will touch us. And we know that this Mary that we are talking about was one of the first people that saw Jesus Christ after he rose up from death. Praise the Lord. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Christ, they saw him first. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> Tonight, we are going to worship him. And I want us, not just, I don't know how I'm going to put it, not just worship him the way you used to worship him. As a song leader, is going to take us tonight. I want us to reference our Lord Jesus Christ. Worship him the way he wants. In, in the next 10 to 15 minutes, we are going to worship God. Sister Ronke, please, I need you here. Praise the Lord. I want us to just worship God. I don't want, let's just worship God. Sons of worship. Sorry, I said Sister Rupa. Sister Rupa. Worship, just worship sons, please. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shall we open our hearts to God this evening and pour our heart to Him in worship? Worship is beyond the songs. Beyond the lyrics, I want us to open our hearts first, let our heart be connected, so we will not just keep moving our lips without connection. Let's open our hearts to Him. Let's open our hearts to Him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Cause you are the great and mighty God So greatly to be praised You're beautiful for all situation You are the joy of the whole world Cause you are the great and mighty God So greatly to be praised Beautiful for all situation. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. You're beautiful for all situation. You are the joy of the world. You are the great and mighty God. You are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful for our situation. You are. 
so greatly to be praised. Your beautiful for our situation. You are the joy of the whole world. You are. Touching every love. 
up your mind this evening. You might see it, you might not see it. You might feel it, you might not feel it. God is still doing something in our lives. You might feel it, you don't feel it. You see it, you don't see it. He is touching you. Malika satate limbro soko yababa. Ramaleke seta yababa baba baba. Oh, Malika ya mama ma soto ye branda ya. Oh, Father, we thank you. He touched me. He touched me.
day 30 years. We are moving gradually. Day 30 years. Hallelujah. Some people have branded up. Some, some people that did 21 days, they branded up. We are still on. Hallelujah. God will give us strength and grace in Jesus' mighty name. Today's fasting and prayer point is circled around foundation. What we just did also has to do with our foundation. Praise the Lord. And God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. If you look at it all, it was the, 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 the instruction there was talking about a man that would go in life depending on his foundation. They talked about Abraham when he was called out of his kindred and asked him to go further. Praise the Lord. Now, how far you go has to do with what your foundation is telling you about or how your foundation is. Praise the Lord. Now, tonight we are going to pray about our foundation. I'm going just to mention the prayer points. We are not going to stay longer in the prayer points. I will be mentioning it and you will be praying. Praise the Lord. We are starting now. Prayer point number one says, Father, I thank you for the family through which you brought me to this world. I want you to begin to appreciate God for that family that God used to bring you to the world. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Just say thank you, Father, that you brought me through the family of Hans and Basi. I thank you, O God, that you brought me out of the family of Joseph, Hans, and Basi. Lord, I give you all the glory. I give you all the glory. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Let us also pray. Say, Father, I repent of every generational sin committed by ancestors. The blood of Jesus wash us clean. Let the blood of Jesus wash us clean tonight in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray and say, Father, please show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show your mercy and touch my foundation. My foundation. Touch my foundation. Touch the foundation of my life. With your hand, oh God, touch the foundation of my life, oh God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please show me your mercy and touch the foundation of my life with your hands of power in jesus mighty name oh my father please oh god visit my family with your mercy visit my family with your mercy i want you to pray pray to god ask him to visit your family with his mercy in the name of our lord jesus christ say father please break every strong host of sin in my family lineage in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please, oh God, break every strong, break every stronghold of sin in my family lineage in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, every cause upon my life as a result of my family background, let it break in the name of Jesus. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Father, every tree of non-achievement in my family background. Let it be uprooted by fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every foundational serpent that is operating against the glory of my family, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mantaya ra 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 ba soto ye ba 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 ba, maye ke tele bro soto ye branda ya ba 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 ba. Oh, let us pray. Say, Father, every evil pattern of my father's household that is about of about to manifest in my life, break, break, break in the name of Jesus. Father, please, every evil pattern of my father's household that is about to manifest in my life, let it break by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray also, let us pray that, Father, please, every idol charm, every idol charm in ownership over the foundation of my life, be destroyed. It be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let us pray and say, Father, visit the foundation of my family. Visit the foundation of my family in the name of Jesus. Let your glory begin to shine in the name of Jesus. 
let your glory begin to shine in the foundation of my family in the name of jesus why not say father visit the foundation of all our parishes starting with praise tabernacle starting with praise tabernacle father visit the foundation of our parishes in rccg worldwide in the name of jesus father visit the foundation of our nation let your glory be to manifest in the name of jesus baba please visit the foundation of nigeria visit the foundation of nigeria lord let your glory begin to manifest in the name of jesus let us also pray and say lord jesus be the foundation of my life be the foundation of my life be the foundation of everything that concerns me in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ father tell him father please visit the foundation of my father household and let every error that has attacked attract causes be wiped off by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus father visit the foundation of my father household let every error that has attract causes be wiped off by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus father we thank you lord we bless your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed. my dear lord we want to thank you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we adore your name because you are the true god besides you there's no other god we give you all the glory in jesus mighty name baba we thank you because even as we worship you tonight you have touched lives and i know oh god that from tonight we'll begin to testify in the name of jesus father we pray oh god that you visit the foundation of our lives. Everywhere we have missed it, we position us be relevant in your sufficiency. In the name of Jesus, that in our works will be relevant. The works with you, Baba, will find us relevant. In the name of Jesus, we will not go down. We will not fall, we will not falter in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, we pray that the glory of the latter rain shall surround us round about in the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord Almighty, as you begin to move in your moves, Baba, we will not be found wanted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, because we know you have done it. For in Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. Let us sing, shout hallelujah.